Hey guys, the Night Flyer here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And today, well, we'll simply just be finishing the last two stories off. So we'll obviously start with reflection, we go into self love, and then we'll see if we can uh, make some time to do the last one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, am I bothering you? Um, no. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Um, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialise, even if it takes a little bit of prodding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work, so it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glances across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air. But the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookie. What a waste. They've really become good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. And Sayori seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it works out well. Yeah. Come to think of it, you and I haven't had many chances to talk one on one, have we? Though that may be partially my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. And not at all. I've probably formed a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me. At least to display some open openness to engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I... I just read. Oh. But I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after morning classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I've read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of this series. There are still two more books after this one. I guess those long books suit you well, since you spend so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favourite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like, romance? Well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh come on Yuri, you know what I mean. Maka lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do too. Maybe more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. So I just, it kind of felt like... Please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry, I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Really? Even if it is just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Ouch. Uh, so sorry. I swear I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past too. You know, things I feel too embarrassed to re-experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things. It happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it too. Hey, were you talking about me? Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were just talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Um, like a couple of years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but I wasn't really going hard until then. Oh yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. Mm, I guess... Let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, I was just like really fed up with a lot of things and I got super into this one series that I really related to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me and I wanted to be by myself. <laughs> hey, yo, what? Hey, kind of like Yuri. Monica? <laughs> Sorry. That's completely wrong, so it's still cool that you both really found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it sounds like they helped you a lot through hard times. You know it? Um, wow, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um, it's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you think it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Natsuki estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. 
I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long so I can say I've read more than you. <laughs> Not that I have that money for that. Please. That would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know, I was just joking. I could never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Yuri shoots a glare at Natsuki. It's not boring. Chill. I said for me, not for you. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Sayori, are those from the floor? Oh my god. That... <laughs> Sayori! You're not meant to be eating food off the ground. Especially, that's definitely after the five second rule. What the f*** like? Um. <laughs> Gross. Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands aren't dirty. Just do it. The oils are there, even if you can't see them. Fine. Sayuri so trots out the door and Natsuki follows. Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I already understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows well how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in the literature club. So I should figure out how to meditate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. Oh, mediate. Sorry. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books. And also your ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something that I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. That then. Either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Oh yeah, another new tune. Okay, everyone. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we can get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Aren't you like being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Well, sorry. I just feel like I'm being accused or something. No, I'm not accusing anyone or of anything. I'm sorry if it came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language and I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club don't you think I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinions a lot so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club if you say so sure the cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want the other person to feel when receiving our thought. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, basically everything. For example, Sayori, what's your favourite food? Um, 